In this video, I'm going to do a walkthrough of how to capture a transcription of a video from YouTube. Now, there's a couple of reasons you want to do this. Sometimes people don't necessarily want to watch an entire video. Maybe they don't like the sound of the person that's speaking. Hopefully, you guys don't mind my voice and my speaking mannerisms, if you will. Uh, additionally, though, it can help with search engine optimization because it's going to give you some additional text onto your website. Um, Google will index all of that text. Granted, transcriptions, at least automatic transcriptions, where you're getting this for free and not paying somebody to listen and type, are going to be short on grammatical punctuation, uh, spelling, and some words are going to occasionally be transcribed wrong. But the general gist of the situation and most of the words spoken in the video are going to come through properly. So having that text into your website is a nice feature both for your website visitors and also for search engine optimization. This is something that I've just been messing with, honestly, the last few days, but I found a really nice solution to be able to do this, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, when I was looking online for solutions on how to do this, I really could not find anything nearly as simple as the solution that I found already. So, without further ado, let's go through this a little bit. This is a blog post that I wrote May 16th, you can see. And in this blog post, I have a YouTube video. In the YouTube video, it's another walkthrough. So there is... Um, audio over top of it where I'm talking through the situation as I do that. and I want to go ahead and transcribe that and I want to include it at the bottom of my web post here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually open this video, YouTube video, in another browser tab. don't want to actually watch the video, but I'm going to turn on the closed caption and it actually has automatically created subtitles after I uploaded the video. I didn't do anything special for that to happen. The more actions button here next to share, click on that and then click on transcribe. And then boom, all of the text that was spoken during the video is going to show up there. Unfortunately, though, there's not a good way to just download all of that text. So here's the process that I've been using. I'm going to do Command A to select everything on the page and Command C to copy all of that text. It's literally copying the entire web page. I'm going to open up Microsoft Word here on my Mac and I'm going to paste, but I'm going to paste special. If you just do a regular paste, it's going to paste all of the HTML formatting and it's going to be an absolute mess. So paste special unformatted text. Click OK. And boom. So all of the text from that page has been pasted into this Word document. Now I'm going to delete the text that I don't want just go ahead and highlight that. You can see with the numbers here, this is the actual text from the video. The numbers are the uh, counters of when in the video the text is happening. So I'm going to delete this text at the top here also. So this is not super great. I mean, it's got the numbers and the formatting. I want to get rid of those numbers. So, what I'm going to do here, it's a little bit off the screen where you can't see it, but I'm going to click Edit up at the top, Find, and then Replace. What I want to replace is first I want to replace the numbers 1 with nothing. So basically that's taking it out. Number 1, I'm going to do the same thing. Number 2, 3, 4, Six, sevens, get rid of all the eights, the nines, 
and the zeros. Okay, so now you can see that we're left with the actual transcription text and then colons. So now I want to get rid of the colons, but I don't want to just remove the colons. I want to actually replace those colons with a space. Replace all. So the reason that I do that is once I put this on the web page, if I didn't have a space at the beginning here, all this text would get smashed in together. So the word setting, because there's no space at the end of this, would smash in together with N. So it would be S-E-T-T-I-N-G-I-N, -T -T -I -I all one word, if there wasn't a space there. So putting in a space helps with a little bit of the formatting. You can see it's totally lacking in punctuation, but it is what it is. I'm not aware of a service that will actually punctuate it properly without paying somebody. You could go to Fiverr or hire a contractor or somebody that will actually listen to the video, type it up, and in that case they'll have punctuation, of course, and capitalization and all that other stuff, but I'm looking for a free solution here. Most of the people I'm hoping are going to watch the video just like you're watching the video right now. So, Command A, and then I'm going to copy this text. So let's go back to my web page. So this is the web page. I'm going to edit the page. And I want to have the transcribed text show up at the bottom, down here at the very bottom. Now there's a plugin that I already installed. Let's jump over to that real quick for you. So for plugins, and it's actually called Toggles, Shortcode, and Widgets. All right. So I installed that plugin and activated it. And what it allows me to do is it creates another little option here in the menu for editing. I'm going to insert a toggle, content toggle shortcode. The title is going to be Video Transcript. Content, I'm just going to paste the text that I copied from the Word document. A couple extra character turns at the end there, I'll get rid of it. By default, I want it closed, which is a, really this is just for the benefit of people that want to quickly scroll through the text, and again for search engine optimization. I don't want it automatically expanded. The icon, you don't have to pick an icon, but I'm just going to go ahead and do a YouTube. It's a little picture of a video icon there and that's it. Click insert, update the page, go ahead and view the post. So everything looks pretty much the same. We've got the video. Down here at the bottom though you can see I've got video transcript and somebody can click on it. Boom. All the text from the video shows up there. Expand it, collapse it, whatever you want to. So somebody that wants to just quickly read through the text can. Search engines will find that text. They will actually index it, hopefully, assuming you're talking about the same topic that you're writing about in the blog post, that text is going to get mixed in with your other text from a search engine perspective. It's going to give you a higher priority, possibly higher rankings, and it's going to work out to your benefit. Hopefully this was useful. I know that uh, I would have loved to have found something this simple to just be able to quickly transcribe and update my blog posts with the text from the videos that I'm creating, only taking a couple of minutes. I didn't find a solution, so hopefully this will be helpful to you. Happy blogging!